Researchers recently discovered strange radiation clouds in Earth's stratosphere. Passengers and crew on commercial flights could be exposed to significantly higher levels of radiation than previously thought. It has been known for years that one side effect of flying at high altitudes is increased exposure to cosmic rays. This new discovery of localized radiation clouds, however, means that those traveling could be receiving twice as much radiation and more. A study was conducted by research firm Space Environment Technologies located in LA, which flew radiation sensors on 264 research flights at altitudes as high as 56,700 feet between 2013 and 2017. Principal investigator W. Kent Tabisca said, on at least six occasions our sensors have recorded surges in ionizing radiation that we interpret as analogous to localized clouds. The study, part of the NASA-funded Automated Radiation Measurements for Aerospace Safety Program, saw long-lasting surges in the data. Normally, a coast-to-coast -coast flight across the U.S. would deliver significantly less radiation than a chest X-ray, about 0.035 millisieverts in radiation dose units. Tabisca stated, We have seen several cases where the exposure is doubled while flying through the cloud. It is quite variable and can easily be more or less than that. Cosmic rays and solar wind are usually the two main sources of high altitude radiation, but Tabisca and his team suspect there's something else going on here. It's likely there's a third source of high altitude radiation. Our new measurements show a third component, Tabisca said. What is being termed the leaky bottle hypothesis is being suggested as a possible explanation. Earth's magnetic field traps the particles that make up cosmic rays and solar winds in radiation belts such as the Van Allen radiation belts. These belts act kind of like magnetic bottles that confine the particles within them. But when events like solar sort of wind bursts happen, charged particles can leak from the bottles, escape the belt, and settle in the Earth's stratosphere. Those electrons are driven into the upper atmosphere, collide with nitrogen and oxygen atoms and molecules, creating a spray of secondary and tertiary radiation likely in the form of gamma rays which escape the belt and settle in Earth's stratosphere. Satellite data and airborne sensors could help to identify where these areas exist in the sky and help pilots avoid them much as they would other pockets of dangerous weather. Every effort should be made to not fly through these radiation clouds where possible, especially for those who spend a lot of time in the air. Those most affected by this would be crew members, frequent flyers, and fetuses in their first trimester. These findings were reported in Space Weather. As always, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe.